Hello everyone, welcome back to Ovesen.net. Uh, today I am building something and uh, yeah, today's build is a little kit I got recently that I can use with uh, my ZX Spectrum or Amstrad machines. So this kit is in fact an Arduino based kit and here is a little uh, Arduino Nano and uh, what it is actually it is a um, so called Castuino or TCX Duino or uh, Max Duino it has uh, <laughs> several names uh, and this kit makes it easy to uh, play back uh, tape backup files from um, an SD card and it has an SD card reader and this can be used on uh, several different machines that uh, uses the supported uh, file types and um, it will work with uh, different types of machines like the Sinclair, Amstrad, uh, BBC Micro and uh, yeah lots of uh, different machines and it actually uh, operates by uh, converting uh, wave files into uh, audio and uh, thus it uh, actually uh, replicates a cassette player. It also got a little uh, OLED uh, display that uh, is used to show uh, what uh, is uh, played back on this device. And then of course some uh, electronic parts. Alright, let me go ahead and uh, build this thing and uh, after that we can actually test if it's working by uh, loading something onto a couple of machines that I got. Alright, so this shouldn't be too much of a problem soldering, uh, just some simple true hole components and I'm just gonna sort them a little bit now. On the PCB you can read uh, which uh, sides the different modules goes. SD module here, nano on this side. And on the other side it says OLED and buttons on this side. <laughs> so I just start with uh, small capacitors. These are ceramic caps that uh, are not polarized. This one was a C5. Where is C5? C3, C7, C4, there's C5. No, sorry, I think uh, the upper one is C5 and uh, the one below is uh, C6. Then I'm gonna insert a little uh, socket. So I'll start with those. Just use a little uh, tape to keep it down. All right, a little bit of soldering. Then we have three electrolyte capacitors. The C3 is uh, 10 microfarad. Uh, C4 is 220. And then we have uh, C7, it's uh, 100 microfarad. And there's just one resistor, so that's easy. Then we have this little 3.5 millimeter audio connector.
the buttons go in uh, on this side actually So there were actually two extra buttons. <laughs> then there's the Arduino itself and it goes in like this and it was a little tight to get uh, into the holes but uh, with a little wiggling and bending I finally made it to go through. Before, <laughs> not now obviously. Maybe it's not uh, very accurate, this um, PCB, but uh, so let's see. All right, now it's finally in. Next up is the SD card uh, module and uh, it goes uh, actually this way, however <laughs> to not have it standing right up in the air like this um, you have to bend uh, the pins 90 degrees. I just use my pliers to bend instead of bending it inside uh, the holes of the PCB. think that's okay and then it goes in like this with the reader facing down finally the little OLED screen goes into this position so I'm just gonna solder it in like this a little in a little angle Alright, that was all the soldering and the uh, final piece is this little chip which I think is an uh, amplifier, op amp. All that's left now is just to do a little bit of cleaning, remove the leftover flux. Alright, that was it for the soldering. I'm ready to test this little device and see if it actually is working. And, uh, I have prepared a little um, SD card already with some uh, files. Uh, I'm not really sure if um, the Arduino is actually pre-programmed or I, if I have to program it myself. But I'm gonna just uh, plug it in and see what happens. And uh, nothing at all happens, so uh, this uh, probably needs to be programmed, so I'm gonna do that now. Fine. Alright, so to find the manual for uh, the TCX Duino kit, I went back to the product page here on eBay, and there's a link to instructions and parts, and uh, I went there, and um, there you can actually buy the kit. Uh, uh, directly but I just went to the attachments and found the, the PDF file the TC Duino kit manual and uh, in this PDF you actually see the different uh, models listed and how I have the TCX Duino uh, compact I think <laughs> At least it looks uh, like that, and uh, also the parts list uh, are here, and um, 
the parts are the ones that came with it so that's correct and um, here's also a link to uh, where you can download a program that um, uh, helps you upload the firmware to the Arduino and if you go to that github page and uh, select the TCX tools uh, you can download the latest version which is 1.05 and then download and uh, just run it and this uh, warning says in Norwegian that uh, Windows is not sure about the validity of this uh, program if I want to run it anyway which I won't then just go through the installer um, yeah I already installed it so <laughs> it won't install again unless i uh, close the window first uh, like that and then i can launch it and here is the tool and i have connected the arduino now to my computer with the usb cable so i actually ran into some trouble with uh, installing the firmware because uh, the arduino ide could not detect my Arduino actually and uh, it could not find the correct uh, port so I had only COM1 which is not uh, the same port as uh, the Arduino and uh, I found this uh, page here that uh, tells you about uh, an original uh, Arduino <laughs> Nanos and it has uh, actually a USB serial communication chip that is not the official one and uh, thus you need some other driver because it uses a different chip and there's actually a link to where you can download uh, the driver and I went to that page and it's in Chinese but I figured this blue button was the download button and it actually was and after installing uh, the driver, it actually turned up here in uh, my device manager as uh, COM4 port. And now it actually is available as um, a port here in uh, Arduino IDE COM4. So I select that and then I select the Arduino uh, Nano. And now I can just try to upload this example program here says uploading but as you can see this actually failed so um, no luck yet so let me just try uh, to select uh, the old bootloader all right so now it worked done uploading so that's great so you actually need to select at least for this particular uh, model the Atmega 328P which is the microcontroller and the old bootloader version and now back into the TZX tools uh, I actually uh, read a little bit more about this and uh, the logo thing is for only for the Max Duino variant if you want to upload a logo then you have to do that first but we're not gonna do that so we're just gonna select the uh, TZX Duino <laughs> I probably said it wrong I said TCX but uh, TZX and then now it shows finally COM4 and the Arduino is the Nano with the old bootloader but it has an OLED display and then we can press upload So that was kind of a challenge to figure out all these things when uh, it actually could have been uh, already uploaded from the seller but uh, I guess they do as little as they can just to make uh, most of money with less time. All right so now it says completed okay so uh, that's great. All right, uh, now that we got the firmware installed, uh, let's test if this is actually working. So I'm gonna just connect some 5 volt um, power to this. All right, it actually shows something on the screen. Yeah, TZX Duino 1.15.3. 
So how do we operate this? These two first buttons are up and down. The blue one is play and the red is record and the black one is uh, menu I think. So yeah, let's try this uh, up down. Yeah, that browses uh, the directories on, on the SD card. I, I just uh, formatted it and uh, put some uh, directories onto it. I formatted it as uh, FAT32 and uh, yeah this system volume information is just um, a directory that Windows added uh, automatically. I don't know uh, what's the use of it. So if we go into the tap folder which is um, tap files and those are for uh, the ZX Spectrum and just press play. Yeah, there is a Super Chess, Caesar the Cat, Cauldron. So that's great. Actually works. So I guess you just select the file and press um, play. Post playing. So I didn't connect anything to the output, but uh, seems to be working. All right, time to do a real test on some uh, hardware and I have a uh, found my ZX Spectrum here and uh, yeah let's uh, hook it up and here it is looking good and uh, on the back side it says composite video mod and cleaned in April 2019 I recapped and I, if you go back on my channel you will find the videos the video where I did this and I got the original transformer and as you can hear it's uh, very noisy. So I just put it on a cloth, maybe then it's uh, less vibration. Let's see if this machine still works. I haven't used it since uh, 2019. <laughs> Alright, it is working. Nice. All right, the clue is to connect, uh, of course, uh, the machine with the audio cable and connect it uh, on this one to the, the mic. Uh, you only need to connect one of those unless you want to write to file, which you need the other one, the ear. Connect it to the uh, uh, audio out connector on uh, the TZX Duino. So let's put it the correct uh, direction like that. And then try to load. See if I remember this, load and then you need uh, enter. Okay, so now it's flashing, so it is waiting for uh, input. And now I think we just uh, press play on this file, with it, which is the 16K Super Chess. All right, it is actually loading. It detects a signal. Yeah, program 16K. Bytes, chess, <laughs> nice. I actually didn't uh, anticipate it to work uh, on the first try. I actually was thinking I have to do some um, yeah, some kind of settings or something. And there it is, it actually loaded uh, completely at first try. Excellent. All right, this is chess. I want to play or analyze. Well, I want to play. White or black? White. Select look ahead one. So there's chess. But I'm not gonna play it, sorry. <laughs> I'm not a good chess player. So let's try something else. Play Cauldron. I'm not really sure is, if this is in fact a 48k machine or it is 16k only, I don't remember, but uh, we'll see. All right, that's uh, the Cauldron Witch. <laughs> So it uh, still takes uh, quite some time to load. I think I have waited uh, five minutes so far. So, uh, but
but it will perhaps load eventually. <laughs> There's no turbo tape on this device. Or maybe there is. Uh, I'm not really sure. There might be some possibilities. I haven't researched that. There it actually stopped, but it uh, just says invalid color. So this might not work. All right, since I couldn't load any uh, larger games, I just opened the machine to, to check. And it is actually only 16K, so uh, too bad. I need to get uh, myself a RAM upgrade uh, kit for this. Uh, I have the RAM chips, but I don't have the necessary uh, logic chips that goes up here, so I can't upgrade it right now. So 16K uh, will have to do for now, but I have uh, found uh, some uh, other games that are actually capable of running um, on the 16K. So let's see what we got. And I have actually already ordered an uh, upgrade kit for this machine. Can't have only 16K when I want to play some Spectrum. So let's try a little jetpack. This should be a well-known game from the 80s. I used to play it actually on the Commodore 64 back in the days. So half the loading time on these games were actually loading this loading screen. <laughs> All right, there it is, one player game, keyboard. And as usual, I haven't a clue how to play this. I <laughs> just have to try. Yeah, all right. Oh. But uh, the mission, yeah. But how do I release this part? <laughs> okay. And fuel, we need fuel. Oh, all right. Great the little game. Harrier. So let's see. Enter skill level 1 to 5. I think I'll start with 1. <laughs> all right, I'm flying. Oops. <laughs> Okay, I figured out how to jump uh, out <laughs> with a parachute. <laughs> All right, that's uh, a little too complicated. Okay, that's it for this video. A great little um, device, the TZX Duino. Uh, no more uh, fiddling around with uh, loading uh, files onto my mobile phone and trying to play from that. This seems to be a very reliable solution and easy to use. So. Um, I really liked it. Okay, hope you all enjoyed this video and uh, hope to see you again soon. And uh, thanks for watching and uh, thanks a lot to my patrons for the support. Bye bye.